Hello and welcome to my channel. The channel where I've built my own DIY supercar using an old Audi like this one as a donor car. Now this is just a short tech tip video. So I won't be going into any detail regarding the supercar, which is in my workshop, but what we will be doing is removing the bumper and the rear lights from this Audi A6 2.7T. Now I'm currently stripping down this A6 donor car because I want the parts for my DIY supercar. Now I've removed the interior panel work and most of the wiring which means I can get the camera in and show you in quite a lot of detail on how to remove the rear tail lights and this bumper. But I think what I'll do is I'll just push the car out a little bit just so we can get the camera in on the side. I think we'll begin with the rear tail lights. There's a series of four nuts on the inside. With the interior panel work and wiring removed, we can really get to see the back of the rear light. Now, if you want to know how to remove all the panels, there is another video on my channel. But these are the four nuts that need to be undone to pull out the rear light cluster. With the nuts removed, just push in these plastic clips either side and the lamp cluster can be pulled out. It's the same on the other side. With the lamp removed, we can take a look inside and see one of the supporting brackets for the rear bumper. That bracket is bolted on the inside of the bodywork through this access panel. But we will leave those brackets for now as I need to undo two small bolts, I believe they're M10, that are just inside the rear arch. Just inside the rear arch you'll see those two M10 bolts, just need to undo those two. Same on the other side. On the inside of the bodywork, you'll see three studs here. These are the studs that go into the plastic bodywork of the bumper and is bolted to the metal bodywork of the car. So you need to undo these three, both sides of the car. 
These are also M10. In fact, all the nuts and bolts so far have all been M10. Same on the other side. There were two retaining bolts either side of the car. These are 16 millimeter. Same on the other side. bolts that hold one of the brackets on for the bumper you have to peel away this little piece of soundproofing like so and now you can reach inside and undo the two M10 nuts and of course it's the same for the other side well all the nuts and bolts have been removed so this bumper technically should just be able to be pulled away from the bodywork let's give it a tug <laughs> Extra screw. Yeah, one screw. One single torque screw. With the outer plastic skin removed, I can now remove the metalwork. There's a series of screws. There's one up in there. And then it follows the car around this lower plastic trim and there's another screw there and there's another one in there and in the same position but on the opposite side just in there so I'm going to undo all those screws and remove that lower plastic trim
screws just in there and one in there. There is one last piece of plastic trim which runs along here and there's a series of bolts one, two, three, four, five. Just undo those and this is the final piece of the rear bumper. So that's how you remove a rear bumper and rear lights from an Audi A6. Well, I hope this video has been some use to you. If it has, please like and subscribe, and I might see you in the next one. Bye for now.